What is it? Switchblade! Hello everybody, I'm Lee, you're here with The Essential Gamer, and we're going to find out exactly what this free-to-play game is all about. Now, the official garb says that it's a 5-on-5 battle arena game where you drive cars around and shoot stuff. Now, it sounds vaguely familiar to another free-to-play game. Yes! Drive cars around! Battle in a wasteland against other cars that you can build and destroy in teams of up to five people. For free! But we're not playing cross out. Because Switchblade makes it seem a little bit more... more about the pilot than the vehicle. You are the star of a team. An elite future sports team. Now by the time this landed on the PS4, I think Season 1 was already over, so we're currently in a mid-season period. Um, and it is early access, so there's not much going on besides a quick play option on one map. Matches themselves take place on a field where you start at one end with a base at your end, and you try and take out the enemy's main base by taking out substation bases within their base line by machines that you control, against the machines that they control that you counteract with tactics that could hopefully win. I don't know. Basically it plays out like you would expect it to. You pick your vehicle, you go charge into battle and you try and take out people. You escort AI controlled mobs to different parts of the enemy base which they destroy the shield and then you can destroy the part of the base. Fairly simple. You have to protect the mobs against enemy players, enemy mobs and turrets and eventually destroy each tower in turn until you can destroy the whole enemy base. <sighs> it sounds confusing but when you play it, once you play it it's fairly simple. It becomes something like Battlefield where you pick your class, you pick your preferred vehicle and then you, you can play your way through the game against others destroying and exploding. Gameplay quickly switches between attack and defence as you try and manage what's going on on the pitch or the field with what's happening within your own inventory. Upgrades are gained and uh, attached on the fly during the match which is quite good. Now the upgrades aren't something that stick with you specifically, they are match specific so you have your shoulder buttons L1, R1 and L2 which are your special attacks and your super attack and you upgrade and purchase these during the match with currency gained via XP for destroying enemies. It is actually quite an engaging mechanism because you start off weak and you you decide what way to play with your specific vehicle. Do you want uh, one particular weapon to be overpowered? Do you want to try and spread it between the, the three different options that you have? If you have a healer class, do you want to get that super heal going straight away? It, it's, it's quite interesting to see you balance the tactics of what your machine can do, your vehicle can do, as well as what you can do. Uh, there are... I think it's 10 available vehicles from the off. Uh, the others seem to be purchasable. But I'm going to get to that a little bit later on. During gameplay there's different types as I said. So you've got your healer class, your tank class, there's some that focus on melee weapons, um, there's some that have heavy artillery, there's others which are more sort of scout uh, classes so they're quite nippy, quite fast, they can get ahead of play and find out what's going on ahead. Uh, they're more utility classes, so they have things like sticky goo to trap enemies in, jammers to stop them from using their special abilities, and it really does help to sort of emphasize that there is a team tactic, because not everyone can pick a cannon class, not everyone can pick a tank class, I mean, or anything like that. You have to pick two vehicles, and there's only two of each type available to each team. So your choice can be quite important. Now, Switchblade gets its name from one of its main mechanics that I honestly forgot about almost all the time, and that is you can switch your vehicles mid-life or mid-spawn. Uh, and this can also switch it up because you can go from a heavy artillery, slow-moving uh, tank to something quite fast like this attacker and get the jump on people. And again, it's another play on tactics, and I think this is where uh, Switchblade has the edge over something like Crossout, whereas Crossout isn't really tactics based, it's who has the bigger vehicle and the biggest guns, whereas this is not really down to that. I mean, you can utilise any vehicle well and you can destroy the enemy base, then you score the points and you win the match. Simple. Ah, gold triangles. This is the uh, the currency. Now, 
when you start off a match you'll notice that one of the first things you'll see is actually the shop right here now it's not money that I or you would spend in our own real world but it is in-game currency that seems to accumulate rather slowly and be spent rather quickly so you can respawn early for two and a half thousand in-game dollars which is really steep seeing as you only will gain about two thousand for an entire match other buffs include vehicle buffs like shield, health enhancers and personal things that you can swap but what worries me is that it could be quite tempting to bring the shop where you spend real money into the game like for instance I mentioned that there's not all the vehicles available you do actually have to purchase some and although they only equate to about one pound eighty I'm worried that you could buy a better vehicle which sounds a little bit too close to pay to win for my liking But it's cool, Switchblade is actually really good fun. I like the fact that it's a team game, it feels like it's made for eSports and that there probably will be some sort of televised matchups pretty soon. If it takes off and it manages to add extra modes like uh, different game versions and maybe some different maps early enough, I think this could be one that will stick around for a while. It's got definitely seems to have more legs than something like Crossout. And let's face it, the market could probably do with a couple more blowy uppy things in vehicles. So, at the moment, it's early access, there's not really a lot available. You've got your one map and you've got two teams to choose from. With no season to play for, there's not really anything in the way of leaderboards, so... It's practice. I feel like Switchblade could be a good game in the future. I feel like if it gets the backing from fans and it actually manages to build up a fan base to play through the seasons, it will turn into an eSport, definitely. What I worry about is that some of its best vehicles may be hidden behind paywalls and if they do get a little bit crazy with things like real currency coming into the game, it will detract and take away from the fan base. but we'll see. Here's hoping.